Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 22nd, 2025. Welcome to another Check out our sun today for February 22nd, 2025. Space weather update, Large lakes, incoming coronal holes, weather. Always elongated and stressed sun north today. to south, and, we've got some and as well in the southern hemisphere, building and turning into view. Party. Watch for increased solar wind speeds over the next morning, few days. Short. Looking at 304 inch, since we did have some plasma hours, filament eruptions. Plasma activity. Earth facing. Lots of filaments we've got a couple snapping. CMEs to show Dance tonight, so stay tuned for sun. tonight's update. Amazing images here as we've had solar no major solar flares to report, but the plasma is dancing around the surface of our sun right now. Pressing play tonight. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Air Dynamics Air Observatory. Rest. Mixed with daily events Maybe worldwide. World. And welcome we do have a to another spot the solar planet. The last 20 now let's hours. have at our coronal hole. It was Earth facing. Showing the magnetic and field and its interactions during the last 10 days. Yesterday. As that Having coronal hole at our magnetic field of the sun. The Earth facing party. Still amazing Stay to tuned. See, Stay safe and healthy. During a coronal hole event. Getting ready for some super fast solar winds. Current space weather conditions right now, there are none to speak of. Solar winds are average at about 305 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing a strong C-class solar flare just now, but we did have a strong long-duration C-class and M-class solar flare yesterday. Earth facing, instantly putting us into radiation storm. Proton flux raising with that. Geomagnetic activity is low as the coronal hole wind stream is about to impact us. So we are in between coronal holes. And there is the most recent coronal mass ejection taking off from northward fashion on our sun. But it may give us a glancing blow. Having a look at the last 48 hours, cosmic energy is leaving our sun. Big CME coming off from the north and as well from the northeast limb. Lots of activity. Amazing images here. Big coronal mass ejection right there, northward, and as well to the northeast, which is actually southeast. Carrying on here, looking at tonight's aurora forecast and tomorrow's, as not much will be seen tomorrow night, a little more prevalent. Now let's go to earthquake the last 24 hours, as we've got some increased seismicity and as well some deep earthquakes in the Tonga region. Deepest being a 570 kilometer depth, but more notable here is a pretty strong earthquake, Setchelt, Canada, British Columbia, on the coastline, very close to a good follower bottle caps on Texada Island. Let me know in the comments section, buddy, if you felt this one, 4.8 earthquake, very close to you, my friend. USGS reporting 236 earthquakes past 24 hours. Having a look here, we did have some increased seismicity in California, Trepinos, California, small swarm occurring there right on the Hayward fault line yet again and very close to the San Andreas fault line. But definitely a very active zone here showing the hazard zone and where these earthquakes are. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, swarming at the geysers as per usual. No major earthquakes to report around Yellowstone, but increasing seismicity across the Pacific Northwest, right up into British Columbia. Seeing here the last seven days, and this was yesterday, a 4.8 earthquake, Setchelt, Canada, 10 kilometer depth. And there is Texada Island right there. Very close to a good follower and friend. Please check him out. He's probably in the comments section right now. Subscribe to his channel. Let's grow. Carrying on here, this is the last seven days for earthquakes. Looking at Alaska, there's been a lot of increased seismicity through the Aleutian Islands and quite possibly an eruption at Atka Volcano in Alaska. Looking here at the Pacific Northwest, Northern California to all the way to Vancouver, British Columbia, and northward. This is a little bit concerning. Victoria swarming, Northern California swarming, and little quiet dead zone here on the Juan de Fuca plate. Also notable here, big earthquake just reported, Iceland, 5.1 earthquake, 
right close to the Bartabanga volcano, and we've had yet another eruption in Iceland. The Spartzen Spartzenji, Spartzenji, there we go, the Spartzenji volcano has erupted, reported on the 20th, and that is southeast of the Blue Lagoon, where they've seen multiple eruptions all around the region, just waiting for that lagoon to boom. So stay tuned, my friends and family. 76 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. And now uh, most likely we've got 77 or possibly 78. Stay tuned. We'll give you a volcano activity report coming soon. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. A little bit too quiet through the Central America regions. And as well, African plate, considering all of the recent activity... We've got a release now, the Iceland volcano erupting, a very effusive eruption at Mount Etna. And then we've got a very quiet zone right here through Papua New Guinea as well, triangulating in between some pretty deep earthquakes and possible new eruption in the Aleutian Islands. So air quality is still pretty nasty across the northern hemisphere and it's about to get nastier. Looking now at the three-day forecast, showing a pretty large eruption coming from Kamchatka and as well Japan and the Aleutian Islands. Notable Kilauea volcano and volcanoes all through Mexico and Guatemala. The pressure is on, my friends and family. What is going on with our planet? Still some SO2 plumes swarming Across the Australian continent as well. Africa, still a very active region. Five volcanoes active and erupting on the continent. Notable plume still from Etna. Now let's have a look at world weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Multiple systems coming up the west coast. Mostly heading northward to Alaska. But some of them will be breaking free. Sending some strong Alberta clippers coming across the prairies, smashing into some Gulf air, snow on the backside of these systems, and pretty warm pockets of air coming from the Pacific Ocean. Strong high-pressure ridge building in. Overlooking Australia, Africa, still a very wet and wild event for Madagascar and southern regions of Africa, and as well now Caledonia and parts of eastern Australia as a cyclone is forecast here to start raking southern Queensland, but then moving outward towards the water, and then taking a beeline for New Zealand in the long range. Quite possibly could be a pretty strong cyclone. And then look at all these low-pressure systems swirling around the northern Pacific right now, affecting parts of pretty much northern Oregon, northward to Alaska. Most of these systems just swirling around the north right now, not making it through the Bering Strait until the long-range forecast. See these systems break up. A big high-pressure ridge along the equator right now. Some strange weather. Having a look now at temperature forecast. Higher elevations across the northern hemisphere right now is still very chilly. Other than that, we've got some big warm pockets that will be scooting across North America and as well southern Europe. Long range forecast. It's still winter, my friends and family. And here's a look at our polar vortex. Upper level winds right now topping out at about 400 kilometers per hour. Very strong and prevalent oblonged vortex. Still trying to find our true northern hemisphere, our true north pole. Where is our true north pole? Well, our wind certainly can't find it. And look at what it's doing to our atmosphere. Cold temperatures reaching down to northern Florida. Strong high pressure pocket over the Mediterranean. And look at how high these equatorial winds are. Northern Pacific. 
Something is wrong with our atmosphere right now. These changes are happening rapidly and more frequently. Look at the equatorial winds and where they are last year at this time. These are the equatorial winds in 2024 and now 2025. Something big has changed on our planet, and they're not telling us about it. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due.